So I had a I had a question. Somebody wanted to know how to get the the uh, craters out of the mud, and uh, that they were getting some big pox marks. I'm not a fan of no pox. I know it's out there. I know people put it in their mud to get the pox marks out. I'm not a fan of it because it it negates the the manufacturer warranty on the mud. So if you do put stuff like that in your mud, they're not going to warrant it anymore. And they can they can determine whether you put it in your mud or not. But this is how I found how to get rid of pot marks. If I'm going to mud this up, if I'm mudding up this corner bee here, if you notice, I have a lot of pot marks in there right now. And uh, there's two ways of getting rid of it. Either I can go back over it this way, see how they're gone? I went the exact opposite direction. Or I just mud it up and I let it sit. Just let it sit. Now, honestly, you're going to have a really hard time doing this if it's 110 degrees with 0% humidity. But where I'm at right now, we don't have that problem. So you just let it sit for a minute and, and let, the, let the air soak into the drywall itself. The only time I have a problem, a major problem with pock marks, is if I am going on a painted surface. Now, I want to tell you this. We didn't take this job. We take this in here, but we didn't take anything in here. Don't even show them. But uh, so when you're seeing all of this other stuff up here, we didn't do that. Uh, I'm actually in here fixing a basement that they had started. They got overwhelmed with it. They called me up and asked me if I could come. And notice I have them. If he can swing in, I've got them here. But I got garbage in my mud right there. And uh, but now it's gone. It's all gone. And so that's, I let this sit long enough now. I can just go ahead and wipe it out. And they're gone. I really don't have any pop marks at all. And that's it. I've already, I mudded up, I don't know if you noticed this, I mudded up the return first. I wiped it out to the return. Now I do this side. And now this side's almost ready to go. I'm going to finish mudding up this side over here. And then, uh, and it doesn't have to sit that long, as long as I had the other side sit. When I, uh, by the time I get this other stuff wiped out, this will be ready to go. I wish I, I needed a little bit more mud in my hand. Sorry. But by the time I get this stuff wiped out, that was already flared, And it didn't sit long, and, and now I'm going to have these little pock marks in here. But that's okay. These are these are are not major ones. But since this is set now, while I did all of that, I can wipe this out, and they shouldn't be there. I, I shouldn't have an issue with them. And if you are, maybe thin your mud down a little bit more. Uh, if you're still having problems with them, otherwise, if you do have problems, yeah, I came down and I have some in there. I can go backwards. <coughs> I can go backwards on this. Ooh, I stuck my finger in there. Sorry. But if I go the other direction, boom, they're gone. But that's an easy way. Easy way to get rid of pot marks. Let it set for a minute before you wipe it down. You know, flare your edge and just let it set. I actually did a video on how to get rid of, how to use really thin mud, mud that's too thin for skim coat, how to use it anyway. And you do, you let it set up a little bit. It gets stiff because it soaks into the wet mud that's or the dry mud that's there, and then you can wipe it out. Well, if you lit this set a minute, this plus three set a minute before you wipe it out, 
you will remove a lot of the pock marks. And if it doesn't, just go the opposite direction and it'll take them right out. Have a good day. Hey, if you really like this video, subscribe. And if you really, really like this video, share it with somebody else. You have a great day.